Hello and welcome to this continuing live coding series on creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Today we're going to continue working on the Western Friend website, the community uh, section of that website. In the previous session, we converted these card components to a wagtail stream field. So the upper half of the page is dynamically generated or it's configured through the editing UI and consists of multiple fields that allow the content manager to specify how the card should look what the title should be let's see if this is actually working correctly yeah <clears throat> so the title the text and an image including alignment Now, the bottom half of the page is, uh, as I'm learning as I go, it's not so much that it's kludgy that it's maybe not the optimal. Okay, it's kludgy. <laughs> um, basically, any text on the screen, I'm hoping to give an editing interface to, and we don't have a sort of inline editing. In order to do that, <clears throat> Essentially, I've been able to provide some fields for these texts and a link to the community resources page, which is parameterized. It uses this URL parameter to find specific resources that have been tagged in a certain manner. Uh, now we're pending a decision to move these Quaker organizations into the community resources page. But that's the reason we need this link to the community resources index page. Uh, it's not a predefined page. It's not a hard-coded template. It's a page that you create sort of at runtime. But from there, in the template, we're able to generate a couple of blocks. So the community resources index page with that parameter, that URL parameter. Now, this is all kind of getting hard coded and including some of the texts and the links and whatnot. So the goal of today's session is going to be to convert it out of this hard coded approach, particularly these yearly meetings and take this and make it a more generic um, stream field entity. So we're gonna define a stream field for row and inside of that row, we'll be able to define one or more cards. Maybe uh, for this purpose, we can set the limit at three. So we'll be looking at this section here. And for each of those cards, you'll be able to specify a page. And it will use that page's title and page URL as the card title link and then you'll be able to specify a description that will allow us to have the text editable here and might even simplify the community uh, sorry the contact model because I added a, uh, a field to the contact model called description and it's kind of a it's what's feeding the text into here, so it's not ideal. And another goal we have soon is to hopefully split this contact model back into people and meetings. Right now, everybody's going into the same bucket, these contact types, monthly meetings, persons, Quaker organizations, Quaker uh, quarterly meeting, worship group, yearly meeting. So <clears throat> it works, but it's like given name and family name don't really apply to an organization so much but a person. Since now we're 
inheriting from the page model though, uh, that'll give us the freedom and the flexibility to, I believe, select any kind of page when we're doing, for example, authoring an article. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dig in. Now one thing I'll also point out, that I have this uh, snippet here, because we're hard coding these headers into the template. That's not really much, that's not really ideal. Uh, because again, the editor can't edit that. But here in the page body, we have blocks. And in fact, um, one of the types of blocks you can put, let's see, so this is a block, coming events block, and then we can put a heading block. So I can actually say Western Friend Directory. I'll do that because I want to move this. And now if I publish the page and I refresh over here, we'll see this unstyled Western Friend Directory, I guess by default, Oh yes, okay, so we can, this will be a quick fix that we can do following this. Basically you check the type of block and you wrap it in a tag. And so what we've done is wrap all the blocks in a section tag. So this is a quick fix, I believe, straight out of the copy and pasting, straight out of the uh, docs. And we don't want it to be a header one, though, header level one, because the page title is a header level one. So now we can refresh this page. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this hard-coded one. So we should see roughly the same thing, but it's coming now from the content. If I delete this heading, publish, there it goes, it's gone. So yeah, as I've learned Wagtail, um, I've started uh, down the path of kind of like hard coding things a little bit, just getting a basic proof of concept up. And now that I'm learning about the stream field, I'm seeing a lot of potential. Okay, so let's go with the, the more difficult part. It'll be a list block, which can contain one or more item, a list of one or more items. And each of those items will be a struct block consisting of three, two fields, a page chooser and a, car, a character field. I don't think we need um, rich text here, but it's pretty easy to swap out. If we look at the live website, it's just static text. We have a little bit of rich text in these larger blocks, but for these grids, uh, we're going to keep it simple and just do a car character field. All right, so that was a quick one. Let's go ahead and commit that. Oh, man, I can't type, so good luck with this session. And we'll use the stream field. So we're going to look for a struct block, but first we need to find a list block. All of the same type, yeah. Because uh, the component I'm considering here is called like a card row or a card grid. Um, Let's start with a card row. I might consolidate these later. I don't want to get premature. Uh, I don't really know how quite it'll work until I've done a couple of experiments. 
So get a little bit of tea. But it's pretty amazing that uh, you can have stream fields basically within stream fields by using this stream block. <laughs> it's very powerful. Now I don't want to hard code. I don't want to keep doing if statements. And have my markup like inside of these if statements. In the case of the heading, the markup is so simple it doesn't really matter, but with more complicated blocks like bootstrap cards, uh, that'll be quite a big mess. So what we did last session was created a streams app. In the streams we have most of the stuff can actually just be deleted, but uh, we have a blocks. And these are where we define our custom blocks, including the template that'll contain the bootstrap markup. Spinning back real quick. To the community model, community page model. We're taking a look at this struct block, this stream field block. I will essentially add a list field here at this level. I could call it something like card row. And it will be WF blocks. Oops, let me see. Card row will be a blocks list block. Consisting of one block type. So I've imported our stream blocks as WF blocks. And right now we have a button block and a card block. Well, let's call this a simple card block or a page card. That's interesting. The label will be page, I suppose. Still should be generic. All right, let's see if, whoops. So that's throwing. Struct block because that substructure. I'll just grab all this, and change the variable names. So this needs to be text. This is just going to be page. These are both true required. Um, the text is optional, but it's a page card block, so you got to have a page. Placeholder.
and the template we can pretty much crib from the community page. I believe it's going to be the same markup, very similar at least. So let me get a couple of things. We want the Wagtail core tags, but not the Wagtail images. So we're not going to have an image here. So we can take that. WF blocks, what's that? It's right here. Essentially, what we did. So we have this hard-coded query in, in the uh, template. So the value here represents the block content or block context. And we're kind of, of course, bonding with the bootstrap semantics as well. Uh, this was optional, so we don't want to display anything if it's not there. Now this is, um, I believe, going to be double braces, value, page, URL, off the top of my head, F from last last session, which was just a night ago, so it's relatively fresh. But basically, we need the the anchor link to the page and then the title the page title will be displayed and these are the card title um, margin so this this just gives a little bit of spacing around it and each card is one column uh, which reminds me we'll need a row so this list block actually needs to render a row respond if they're outside of a row. I could do something like if it's a card row, put a row around it. Um, I think you were just saying simpler because I'm not sure exactly how to do sub templating within these blocks if a block has child blocks how to sub template those I'm not sure I'll have to read this much more in depth, but it's not too bad. So it's just an LF.
Yeah, for some reason this Django HTML doesn't give me the nice um, sort of tag matching, auto completion, uh, like the P tab. It's just kind of confused. Not sure this is going to work in any case. Uh, this include block should, uh, I guess, give us just an iterated. It should iterate over those. I'm not sure exactly. List block. Huh. So we've changed our model. I believe we have to create migrations. Migrations. Friend directory, if we add card row, and we choose community Pacific yearly meeting. So maybe the <clears throat> field ordering can change. Let's go ahead and just finish this community. North Pacific. Oh, that was North Pacific, damn it. the order which is really cool you can search this one should be the first now we can publish it and see if things are broken to avoid a little bit of confusion. I'll simplify the template so this should go away from the hard-coded markup. And it more or less works, okay. <clears throat> now just a little bit of wrestling to do. The cards are working. Putting them inside of a list. Yeah. Which makes sense. Uh, strictly because it's a list block where we go. This table of contents could do with some improvement, but basically. Block and see many sub blocks all at the same time. The editor can add an unlimited number of sub blocks and rearrange and delete them tasks takes the definition of a sub block as first argument. Any block type is valid as the sub block type, including structural types. You know what? 
I'm going to pray for consistency here. I hope that they they have been pretty consistent. I believe I can just do... Hmm, how do I get to the blocks inside of a block, though? This is cool. They got a migration script for getting blobby rich text. You know what? I think it's going to be just uh, if I look closer at this model. If say I remove I move this card load row to its own class. Then here it's from list block. Hmm. You know, I just don't want this list markup. That's a small snafu, small gotcha. I just want to change the template of a list block. Let's try that out. That's interesting.
Let's so see how black does this. <clears throat> Lose my voice a little bit. So the template will go here. Um, streams. Blocks. And this is card row. All right, that's not too bad. if it throws. Let's just go with this uh, suggestion, actually, before I try to... Seems like it should be this. Now it answers from a while ago. So. It's not rendering them. There we go. Oh man, that just worked. So that actually means I can uh, take the hard coding out of the model too. Really cool. So. this context anymore. I can come to these in a moment. thing I can do there. Let's put my div here, or section. And in the community page I don't need. section anyway.
Just trying to have a little marker, but it's necessary. So if I go away and I go back to the community page, I mean, yeah, it's working. If I hover over. This might as well be a div. I don't know if it's more appropriate to use section in this context. We're using div elsewhere, so I'll just be consistent. I don't know if it's a foolish consistency. It's just there. I got the closing tag. Just a consi just being consistent. I should release those two commits. But yeah, I can basically if I go back to my models. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I believe it's just uh, Just a little bit of simplifying. And that. So I like the outcome of that. Code got simpler. If I push this up, I can take a look at the delta. It's simpler in one place and more reusable, a little bit more spread out. And more importantly, I guess, we're on the second layer. Uh, the editor user faces that it's all 
configurable do this really big form but nonetheless there it is you can edit the whole thing stream field so This is where I think the uh, stream blocks can come into place. Listen, I had to think about it for a second, but um, the thing that differentiates these, which are just a page link, from these is that it's actually a page link like online worship. Oops. is a page link plus a filter. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit more. I probably wouldn't wanna include in this same pull request. Um, just to prevent it from holding up this work. Because hmm. in any case, I'll still need a link to this community resources index page. Which renders a bunch of resources. designed to take a, a, a root parameter. And use that to populate, to render actually the template with this sort of query set. <laughs> um, and it was non-trivial, it took a while to figure out it works the trade-off being one, it doesn't fit in the stream field. Two, it has this awkwardness of having to select this page and then separate from those filling in these texts. Texts. As a separate pull request, so what I could roll the this quick organizations into the community resources and then group these all three into the same section. Maybe I'll just try grouping these into the same section real quick. As a step in that direction, and I'll wrap this session up. So it'll be about on the hour. This is working. I don't want to mess with that. I think that's going to be the solution we'll have to go for for the time being. But I think just grouping these fields together is not too hard. Oh, not that. Yeah, community page model actually. So it's a multi field panel. Really, it's just. Putting this inside there. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> yeah, that'll work. And then if I can, Mary, um, I spoke with Mary and she kind of actually suggested that Quaker organizations be rolled into uh, online worship and community directories, sort of, they're all the same kind of concept. So if she agrees to that, this is a more natural grouping on the page. spruce it up. I could include it as a stream field, a community sources, resources stream field, actually. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I am feeling a little bit of fatigue. an hour. A little bit of progress, bit by bit. But this is definitely an improvement. Overall. Let's take a look. Create a pull request. Well, added more lines than removed, but I think it's more or less just moving stuff around. These migrations, they take up a lot of space. I'll squash these at some point once we get out of the prototyping stage. But clean up the context, clean up the template, uh, added reusable code. Might not need that. There's wagtail core tags, page card. Let's see if this works without it. still have more clarity on whether or not we can roll these Quaker organizations into the community resources and how that'll affect the magazine which sometimes in some cases articles are published by Quaker organizations so we'll have to think about that but if this generally this authored by field I think I'm gonna be switching over right now it's a uh, multi-select field I think I'm just gonna to switch to a page chooser now that we're our context models a page and I might be able to split up those contact models. I'm really hopeful for that actually. Something about that having them in the same model, you know, organizations and people, it just doesn't sit right with me, but you know, it is what it is. But essentially when we're authoring an article, magazine models, magazine department. Department. Take a page. 
Hmm. I don't know how you just jump to a Here it is in your okay. Anyway, uh, we have a parental many to many field. Using an autocomplete panel. I'll have to see if we can. I believe a page reference allows you to have multiple multi selection. We'll do that in another uh, session. In any case, we we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So yeah, this has been another session in the live uh, series of live coding sessions on creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Working on a uh, website for the community website, Western Friend. The community directory page is coming along nicely. We hope to get to more aspects of this site, though it's quite a lot of uh, things, including a bookstore and subscriptions and donations and. Uh, a few other things, memorial minutes in the contact form. So yeah, we're gonna try to put the pedal to the metal over the next couple of months and try to launch around July, and w including content migration. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. We could use some help probably. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.